What is going on YouTube? It is Primitive here and today I'm going to be bringing you the top 8 match of the most recent TCG Con Houston. This is going to be between War Greymon X on the left, which is going to be piloted by Donkey Nog, a fellow content creator. And then on the right we will be having Blue Flare and I honestly haven't seen this matchup played personally, so I don't know exactly how it would go, but I have to imagine that the War Greymon X is going to be favored. With being able to have so many sources when you get up to your Mega, it's going to be very hard to stun unless you have that decker and then also just the amount of aggression is going to be able to outpace the blue flare for sure so we'll have to see if the blue flare is going to be able to pop off early but we are just going to go with a decker to draw two still no rookie in the back which does hurt that gaussmon really helps you speed up your deck a lot and just gets you into a position to where you can actually start to uh, get some sources saved under a tamer but we are currently lacking the tamer so that is unfortunate not going to be able to save those sources if they do get deleted now there's not a lot of removal on on the War X side outside of the War Greymon X ability itself, so there's a pretty good chance that the Decker would survive, but it is going to swing into that Metal Greymon X, so we'll go down, and then now going for another Blazing Memory Boost, going to be able to double hit there, but still no Curioso, no Memory Tamer, and do get to hit some pieces, but again, you really want that Rookie early on, and being able to get your Tamer early on would help a lot, and now War Greymon X is really starting to pop off, going to be able to go up into this Alterus mode, and they also have the red memory boost in the back so ability to pop up and get up into something like war greymon x antibody for four which would have put them at one but then you would have been able to go for the swings with the war greymon x to gain the memory if they have the x antibody option which they do so we are going to swing right here going in for i believe three checks so one two three gonna get take back turn but then you hit the hammer spark which puts them at one which is unfortunate because you could have maybe gotten one more card played or swung with this agumon x antibody but also just choking your opponent isn't that big of a deal they can pop the blazing to go to three which will allow them to play the metal greymon and keep turn stunning the agumon but with the male birdmon inheritable you will be able to stun with the male bird just because your opponent has the two digimon so gonna be able to double stun right here but going to get deleted and again no tamer so not gonna be able to save the sources but here comes the male bird which is finally going to be able to play out the kiriha but give the opponent five so that is going to be um, pretty rough they are just going to be likely building up in the back right here not too much that they can do as far as damage this turn but again with five memory essentially eight since your opponent is going to three the eight that you can extend you will be able to get at least another ultimate built up in the back if that's what they want to go for but it looks like we're going to build on board um, regardless of the stun but try to make it so you don't have enough sources so that they can get stunned again but here comes the alterus mode and that actually helps a lot being able to pop the male birdmon sure it does get saved under the kiriha but that is one less check you're sitting at two security so if your opponent was able to swing with the male bird get you down to one and then go for the metal Greymon to swing unsuspend and swing that could potentially be game and so um, pretty good to be able to just pop it right there and slow down the opponent but now here comes out the Gaussmon so the metal Greymon is still live to be able to go for game because of chipping them down to one if they do have the Greymon and the metal Greymon they'll be able to go for it and then it just comes down to is it going to survive in security if they go for it because if not then they should just be able to have game but stopping to think here so that tells me that they probably don't have the metal or else you'd just be able to go for game right here or potentially go for game of course but if you don't have that then i there's going to be really hard next turn because of just the red memory boost is going to be able to gain you um, extra memory for the Wargreymon X player. So even if they were to swing into something like Hammer Spark, they are most likely going to be fine, especially with the Wargreymon X inheritable. But here comes out the Decker, going to be able to stun the Wargreymon X, so not going to be able to get the swings in right there. But you are chilling with the uh, Alterus mode on the board and an Agumon in the back, so you still have the potential to maybe go for game depending on what is in hand. The Metal Greymon X actually is going to definitely help that gives you the second security attack so you could theoretically swing two checks right here and then go in for the agumon but they're actually going to go for the bt1 war greymon which will just solidify the game because there's nothing that's going to delete it first check in the blue flare deck and so no option is going to be able to save you there and then the agumon is going to be able to go for game so bt1 gray
Raymon kind of showing what it is used for a lot of the times in situations where you're not playing security control or things like Mastamon. Just being able to swing security so that you guarantee don't hit out anything like uh, Blazing Memory Boost or Hammer Sparks definitely does help. But here comes out the Blazing Memory Boost after the Greymon is played. So that is going to give the War Greymon X a ton of memory here going to five. But the Blue Flare player starting to be able to develop a little bit now, being able to search out that Kiriha, being able to have the Gaussmon in the back. This could definitely be a different game than what we saw the first game, but another red memory boost coming out. Just good for search, good for that memory, and got a couple good hits here that you could grab. Not sure what they need. You could go for the Agu X for search, the metal for damage, or if you need the War Greymon X for your top end, um, you can go for that as well. But without seeing the hand, not 100% sure what they will want, but looks like they are just going to go ahead and choose the ultimate. So with the champion in there, maybe they are potentially just missing the ultimate, but regardless, all three of the cards there were pretty good value. So going to swing in with that Gaussmon does go down. So another Greymon coming out and then now going to be able to pop the Miss Memory Boost to play the Kiriha. So now going to be able to save sources, which is big. We did see multiple sources get deleted last game that weren't being able to be saved under a tamer which really slows down the deck because you want to be reusing these sources as much as possible but going to promote out here we do have the cool boy which would allow us to be able to gain some extra memory as long as well with the uh, red memory boost so gonna go for that metal x here we do have the piercing metal graymon as well so that could help to go over this graymon again it would get saved but at least you're able to get a check while also being able to uh delete a Digimon on board and with the War Greymon X coming out we also have the end of attack which could delete the Gaussmon as well so going in for four checks going to be able to gain memory each time so it does keep turn you do hit Sorajo which is um, slightly unfortunate but it is one of those things where you have so many sources that it probably doesn't matter right now and with the X antibody on the bottom your opponent's only going to be able to strip one source with it but it does make it a little bit weird if you wanted to play like a rookie right here or something like that to keep turn but actually just going to go for the Omni X bottom deck the decker right there and then trash the top which is a kiriha but now you're in a super rough spot because now there's just this omni x on the board no security this omni x is incredibly hard to get rid of or stun unless you are using the decker dramon and i even then i don't know if that's going to help you just because you need to keep up the aggression to go for game as well you would need gaussmon in the back to make sure you can get those checks but when your opponent hatches next turn and puts a rookie in the back you are still on a timer and that's if you are able to answer this omnimon right here so gonna go for that decker stud is going to be able to stun because we do have the decker dramon underneath it and they're gonna be able to put the graymon underneath with the effect of the decker and that does stun so now you're good you have the graymon which can allow you to unsuspend if you are having two or more Digimon but that's not going to be super effective right now and honestly I would think they could be in a potentially good position if there was that rookie in the back because you could swing um, and then swing with the rookie in the back that put them down to one and then again you are a potential metal Greymon away from game but this really only becomes an active game plan if you if your opponent puts two Digimon on board and so Donkey gonna be very smart to just play out that red memory boost to pass turn leave one Digimon on the board can swing not gonna be able to unsuspend and then even if we do get stunned on this Omnimon once again we have the Greymon in the back to be able to come out so Kori Kakumon in the back a very interesting addition for the blue flare gonna get that swing in but I don't know if that's gonna be able to help you here so taking a little bit of time and just gonna handshake and that's gonna be it not gonna be able to again uh, really do anything because even if you stun the Omnimon that Greymon in the back does go for game so that is going to be the top eight match I will have more matches from the top eight coming later this week as well as a couple more deck profiles from the event so if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time I hope you have a fantastic day peace out